Hello, my internet friend. I am going to change my career completely, hopefully in the next six months. I am currently in supply chain, but I want to make a switch to data science. The plan is to study for three hours a day for 60 days. Uh, and so far, I made this little track sheet next to my desk to check how many days I've done in those 60 days. I started in May 16th, and now it is June 5th. I've not been able to do that for four days out of the past, like, almost three weeks. So, feeling good about the studying part, or actually feeling good about checking off the time limit part. The studying part, I'm not so sure. Anyhow, after I finish the 60 days of studying, hopefully I will be able to start my job search officially on LinkedIn. Obviously, data science is a very competitive field. A lot of people want to get into it. So right now I'm nervous about the prospects. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about other people trying to pivot to data science or looking for jobs in the data science field. I'm slightly discouraged because it doesn't look like it's easy even for someone with experience and for here I've been looking at Julia Face uh, vlogs. I'm just slightly discouraged but I'm still hopeful. So. This is what I'm looking at on my desk today. So far, I have done an hour sequel, an hour of pandas, and then another hour of sequel. So I've done. I have a bunch of notes here on what I've written on sequel. Last couple of weeks, I was focusing on statistics and I have a bunch of statistics notes here. Okay, let's make some lunch while we talk about this. I just got my MBA two years ago in 2022 and so far I have about seven years of work experience. I graduated undergrad in 2017 and while I was pursuing my MBA, I didn't really take a time off. I was doing work and school at the same time. You may or may not be wondering then, well, if you've invested so much time and a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of money into pursuing like a, the business side of things, why after seven years would I want to pivot to like a more technical side of things, which is data science? Well, great question. The first reason why I want to kind of start over is that like I really like the job in one of my previous positions I was a data analyst and I love the job you know when I do the work of analyzing the data it feels very zen to me because I'm on my own trying to find an answer that nobody knows right we're just all exploring together that part to me is very fun the part that I didn't like in my last data analyst job was that the result of the analysis most of the time didn't help to make a business decision. Most of the time, what it did help with was making a PowerPoint slide and showing it, presenting it to a VP, and then that's it. That's where it stops. It doesn't help the business make a decision. It doesn't improve a current process or a product and honestly just sits in a PowerPoint slide and gets filed away. So that's the part that I didn't really enjoy and I hope that when I transition to a data scientist, especially a product data scientist, the doing the analysis but having the result not go anywhere part is gone. And the second reason why is, like I just said, I really like figuring stuff out on my own. The process of researching and figuring out like a data set and what information is in that data set and how to dig the information out of the data set, for me is very exciting. And like, like I said, it's like very zen to me. Unlike some other part of the business where like you're depending 
on other people for information or uh, waiting on other people to make a decision, that to me is not Zen at all. And to double check that I would actually find the work enjoyable, I started volunteering at the California Academy of Sciences last year in March. So it's been a year and three months that I've been working with code under like a production environment, if you will. And after a year and three months, I'm still not tired of it. And I still enjoy figuring stuff out, analyzing things by myself. So now I think is a good time for me to actually make the jump. And by the way, what I'm having for lunch is a Mediterranean salad with some cherry tomatoes, grapefruit spindrift, and some, what is this? There's, it's cod with like a marinade that I found just randomly on Instagram. The third reason why is that now I've kind of had a grasp on the business side of things. Um, with both experience and with my MBA. Career trajectory wise, I think it would be good for me because at the end of this transition, I will have both technical expertise and business experience. And I think at that time, it'll open up more paths for me. I can go a uh, higher level in data science, tech technical position or I can pivot back to business uh, knowing the ins and outs of the technical side. So I think that will be helpful. The fourth reason I want, I want to pivot into data science is that it's just very exciting, right? It's a new field and the position I'm trying to pursue, product data scientist, a lot of the positions are in tech. Working in tech is going to be very different from working in manufacturing where I am now. And it'll be a good change, very exciting. The fifth reason is money. I mean, I've been on the business side for seven years now. The salary after seven years of increasing is not nearly as good as some of the like starting positions of a data scientist. So money will be better. Uh, work hours probably will be more intense, but that's what you're bargaining for, right? You get paid more, you work more, you're stressed out a little bit more. But I think I'm okay with that trade-off. And overall, those are roughly the five reasons why I want to go into data science. Actually, there is another reason why I want to pursue data science. Before I actually got my MBA, I started my program in 2020. Um, in 2019 when I was preparing for the entrance exam and putting my applications together and whatnot, I actually had two options in mind. One was to get the MBA and the other was to go back to Master's for Data Science. I have been wanting to do data science for five years and I've actually been doing the work for a year and a half. So at this point, like I'm pretty sure I need to at least give it a shot. If I don't give it a shot, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to try it anyways. This cod, I'm a little bitter. I never fried it for too long. Aloe is always good though. Love me a Mediterranean salad. Never, never failed me. All right, I'm going to eat this lunch first. I'll come back later. One hour later. I don't think I had enough protein for lunch. I'm trying to, you know, gain a little bit of muscle. So I need to make sure I'm having enough protein every day. So we're going to have this protein shake which is 30 grams of protein not sponsored and it also has coffee in it so can you use a little bit of pick me up is it weird to put ice in a protein shake i mean you put ice in a latte which is also a milk product so i guess that's not weird let's talk about my current struggles with trying to study and prepare for the job and for the interview. This is a lot thicker than I thought. That does not look cute at all, but we're just gonna go with it. One is that, you know, I'm trying to 
make the change and prepare for interview and the job with no like formal data science degree or computer science degree i do have a um, information system uh undergrad my degree was in information system and supply chain it was a stem degree because it was related to data science so that's the closest thing that i have to a formal education and i'm also not trying to go to a boot camp it's expensive and time consuming and i did some research and by research i mean reading on reddit people are saying that you know even after the boot camp you may not be ready for a data scientist position you could be a data analyst which i have already been before so i don't need to go to a boot camp i don't think and the second kind of struggle when it comes to preparing for the job and the interview is that there is so much information out there on youtube on websites on uh in book form there is so much stuff which is extremely overwhelming and i've noticed that the information that are integrated and tries to prepare you for a job in one go they are all very expensive the some of the famous ones includes like emma ding she's a youtuber her courses for like statistics alone was like two thousand dollars and for like SQL and and whatnot, they're all like very expensive per each. I know she has free resources on her uh, YouTube channel as well, but like I said, it's very scattered. Uh, as an example, for the statistics portion, she has like a little cheat sheet, and she said, if you know everything that's in the cheat sheet, you'll be able to answer like I think 30 to 60 percent of the interview questions. Well, what about the rest of the? Uh, 70 or 40 percent so like her integrated stuff is really expensive the free stuff is very scattered and incomprehensive i know that the area that i need to tackle includes the statistics sql python pandas and um like product sense slash a b testing slash all the sort of more business side of things more behavioral kind of like case studies or problems and i found some resources in each of these areas for stat i'm reading the book um practical statistics for uh data scientists i think i have it here actually right here this is borrowed from my local library um it took me a while to get this book it's very popular the book gives a lot of like um systematic reviews of topics and statistics so i think it's very good for fundamentals but for actual interview questions i'm using the website interview query they also charge a premium if you want to look at the answers of these interview questions but i'm really trying to like pay the least amount of money as possible because i'm stingy like that for sql i'm using uh leech code they have like a pack of practice questions called uh leech code sql 50. i think i'm 40 questions in of the 50 that are available i've also practiced other questions for sql on data lemur and for python i just picked it up like earlier this week i knew like python was important but i don't think it's important to ask sql in a job so that's why i only just picked it up like this week well i've been like two and a half almost three weeks into my studying plan and how i'm practicing is on this is using this github repo and this repo I found through Julia Fay, which is also a YouTuber. So far, it's been very helpful. It like really shows me how much I don't know in Python Pandas. So there's a long way to go. And then there's the product sense, case study, A-B testing. For that, I did pay a little bit money out of pocket. I bought the course by Data Masked. I found this course, I think, on social media. It's targeting specifically product data scientists. I read through all the materials once. Nothing stuck. Like, if you ask me what I learned in 
that course, I can't tell you. I studied those course materials, like first things first, in my like 30 week studying plan. So like I did that three weeks ago and I already don't remember anything. Oh, that's good. I'm planning to do a second run sometime within the 60 day period. And now you are gonna ask, which my friend asked me, like how would you know when you are ready for the interview? I don't fucking know. Like I'm gonna try my best in the 60 days. I think I will feel good about going to an interview if I just randomly select a SQL question, Python question, case study question, A-B testing question, and be able to answer that. That's how I will feel that I'm ready. But in reality, I don't know if that feeling of being ready is actually ready because what if I'm thrown a question in an interview that are like nothing like anything I've practiced using any of the resources I just mentioned? And then I'm out of luck. So I'm just hoping the materials that I'm studying for are the right materials. And within these 60 days, I can memorize as much of it as possible in my brain. And then hopefully at the end of 60 days, I will feel ready. That part is kind of the most unsettling. We'll see how it goes. I'm planning to record more videos as I'm going through this process. Like if at the end it worked out and I got a job, then great because then you can see the process of me struggling and see me actually getting the thing that I want. If at the end of this, after trying so hard and I don't get it, that's it's, it's gonna suck. I'm really hoping that that's not the case. I'm not even letting myself think that option. So we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. And yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a day today. I've already done my studying. I filmed, so I've accomplished two of my biggest goals today. All right, I will see you back here again soon. Bye.